As a security professional, you must keep your data secure, be prepared for audits, and comply with many federal, state, internal, and foreign regulations. User IDs and passwords are one area of vulnerability that these regulations focus on. Obsolete and redundant IDs and careless password habits are easy targets for hackers seeking to breach a network. This demonstration shows you how to use generic sign-on messages to safeguard against malicious hackers. In this video experience, We'll provide an overview of how to prevent exposure of logon credentials and messages. We'll show you the existing messages that are at risk. We will describe the fields in MSG apps that enable generic messaging. Finally, we will demonstrate how to enable generic sign-on messaging. Applications can accidentally leak or expose privileged information by providing specific error messages. These detailed messages can inadvertently point the malicious user in the right direction, indicating that they should continue searching for a valid ID or that the ID that was entered is valid and to shift focus to uncovering the password. A payment card industry data security standard suggests that applications should return generic rather than specific error details. CAACF2 version 16 addresses this standard by providing the Global System Options, or GSO, MSG Ops record. The table that you see here shows sign-on messages that can inadvertently identify valid login IDs. The GSO MSG Ops record replaces detailed sign-on messages with a generic message that simply says, Logon credentials invalid. When inserting the MSG Ops record, you must identify the message that you want to replace. Messages ACF 01004, 1005, and 1012 are added by default and do not need to be specified when inserting the record. Two fields are available in the MSG Ops record. Active no active specifies whether MSG Ops is activated or deactivated upon refresh. Active is the default. MSGS specifies the messages that you want replaced with the generic message. In this demo, we will insert the MSG Ops record so that message ACF 01010 and the default messages are replaced with the generic message. First, let's check message ACF 01010 by attempting to log on to CAACF2 by using expired logon ID John Doe. The detailed version of message ACF 01004 is returned. Now let's insert the MSG Ops record and specify to replace this message with a generic message. From the ACF command, Issue the set command to gain access to GSO control records. Issue the insert command to insert the MSG Ops record. Now, issue the refresh command to activate the MSG Ops record. To verify that the MSG Ops record was inserted, issue the list command to view the record. Note that message ACF01010 was inserted along with the default messages. Now that the record is active, we will log off and log on again by using an invalid login ID. As you can see, the detailed ACF 01010 message is now replaced with the generic ACF 01125 message. To add another message to the MSG Ops record, issue the change command to change the record. At any time, you can verify that messages were added to the record by issuing the list command. As you can see, the message is now included. You can issue the show command at any time to display the current MSG Ops settings. Entering the command shows that the record is active and lists the messages that are now replaced with generic message ACF 01125. In this video experience, we demonstrated how to prevent unintentional leaking of information to malicious users by replacing detailed sign-on messages with a generic message.